हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एवीआर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर अबाउट टू सी हार्वर्ड आर्किटेक्चर इन एवीआर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग यू अबाउट दिस हार्वर्ड आर्किटेक्चर विच इज डेप्लॉइड इन एवीआर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर लेट मी ब्रीफली टॉक अबाउट हार्वर्ड आर्किटेक्चर वर्सिज वॉन ह्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर सो विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू इन द लास्ट वीडियो बट लेट्स ब्रीफली समराइज बॉथ द आर्किटेक्चर वॉट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम Now, if you take any microcontroller, either it supports this von Neumann or it supports Harvard architecture. So, von Neumann was invented first, and after that, Harvard was invented. Okay, so let's see what is the difference between them. So, CPU is there. Here you can see both RAM and ROM. Okay, or data memory and code memory are provided on single chip. So, we have only one chip onto which they have embedded both RAM and ROM. okay now in order to access the data either from ram or in order to access the code from the rom we have common address bus and common data bus so what does it mean it means whenever cpu is executing the code or fetching the code from the rom memory it cannot either read the ram memory or write the data into the ram memory unless this address bus and data bus be, will become free okay so that means the access time of cpu will be more compared to howard architecture now over here in howard architecture we have separate dedicated rom memory and ram memory okay and separate address bus and data bus are provided okay now the cpu will become independent because whenever it is accessing the rom it uses this address bus and data bus dedicated for it and whenever it access the ram it uses this address bus and data bus separately okay so the access time or memory access time or cpu will get increased in howard architecture so evr microcontroller supports this howard architecture in which ram and rom memory are separately provided and we have dedicated address data and control bus okay and one more thing that in von neumann architecture all the addresses are different so ram and rom is having different addresses but in howard architecture both rom and ram can be having same address okay now let's talk about howard architecture that they have deployed in evr microcontroller now in avr we have four families tiny mega special purpose and classic right so i am going to talk about 8 mega 32 microcontroller in this discussion right so that uh, it will be more clear to you so first of all if you take any microcontroller cpu is the fundamental unit okay in that unit we have general purpose register so again in 8 mega 32 we have r0 to r31 total 32 general purpose registers are there for storing and manipulating the data then arithmetic and logical unit is there that is responsible for uh, data manipulation like addition subtraction ending oring comparing etc will be performed inside this alu then we have instruction decoder so whatever data or whatever code that you are about to fetch from the rom memory it will first come inside this instruction decoder so instruction decoder will decode that code and finally this alu will perform the task depending on the code that is being fetched right then we have program counter inside cpu so what is the task of this program counter it will store the address of the next instruction which is about to be executed for example right now cpu is executing the instruction which is located at rom address 2000 so this program counter will hold the next address which is 2001 so hope this is clear to you now in order to store the program we have one flash rom so again if i talk about 8 mega 32 we have 32 kilobyte of flash memory on chip right now let me discuss you in detail about this flash memory architecture so in 8 mega 32 we have 32k cross 8 memory right but the organization is 16k cross 16 now what do you mean about it so we have total 16k cross 8 memory over here and 16k cross 8 memory uh, parallelly right so 8 bits are there on this location and 8 bits are there on the adjacent location right so you combines this data together then it will form total 16 bits of data right now with the help of this architecture cpu can fetch 16 bit data at the same time or in a single instruction cycle instead of taking two different clock cycles now it can take the data in single clock cycle so that's the advantage of using this architecture right now in order to get the data from the rom so it is having 16 bit data bus then address bus and control bus now size of the address bus is different depending on the which avr family that you are using right now it will fetch the 16 bits of data okay from the rom 
Now this CPU is a 8-bit architecture because AVR is a 8-bit microcontroller, right? So what it will do, it will first take the 8 bits of data, it will process it. Again, it will take the 8 bits of data and it will process it. It will fetch 16 bits of data, but at a time it can only process the 8 bits of data, okay? So hope you are clear about this concept. Now, we have SRAM. So in Atmega 32, we, we have 2 kilobyte of SRAM. Then, 1 kilobyte of EEPROM. So this SRAM is volatile, means whatever data that you have inserted over here, after the power goes off, the data will vanish, right? If you still want to preserve the data, at that time you have to use this EEPROM, okay? So even if the power goes off, the data will remain intact. So we have 2 KB of RAM and 1 KB of EEPROM in Atomega 32 microcontroller. Then timers, okay? So we have 3 timers in Atomega 32, timer 0, timer 1 and timer 2 out of which one timer is 16 bit timer that is timer 1 and timer 0 and timer 2 are 8 bits in size okay then interrupt unit is there so what is the task of this unit so we have hardware interrupt and software interrupt so int0 int1 int2 three hardware interrupts are there then timer interrupt serial interrupt okay so so, so many software interrupts are there okay so nearly 23 interrupts are there inside this atmega 32 microcontroller so that interrupt related task will be handled by this unit then we have four ports so far as Atmega 32 is concerned, port A, port B, port C and port D. On this port, we are about to connect input and output peripherals, right? And we have also some other peripherals like ADC interfacing, UART interfacing, SPI interfacing, I2C interfacing, right? So these are called other peripherals, right? Now in order to get the data or in order to send the data, again, we require the similar bus architecture as we have discussed over here, right? So we have address bus, so 16-bit internal address bus is there, then 8-bit data bus is there and control bus is there. And what is the task of this control bus? It will generate the timing and synchronization signal like memory read bar, memory write bar, IO read bar, IO write bar, like that, right? So the main thing to observe over here in this Harvard architecture is we have separate flash memory or program memory and separate data memory or RAM memory and in order to get the data either from ROM or from RAM we have dedicated address bus, data bus and control bus right. So advantage of using this Harvard architecture is access time will be reduced right and most of the advanced microcontrollers supports this Harvard architecture nowadays right. So hope you are clear about this Harvard architecture deployed in AVR microcontroller. Still, if you have any query, you can post the comment into the comment box. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.